quite cold. Winter. Happy Thursday. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hey, buddy. I'm talking like the camera. Like, hey, buddy. Buddy old pal. Welcome back, guys. Thank you, as always, for answering or asking us a ton of questions. Uh, if you can't tell, my brain is frozen solid, uh, but we're going to get through it. Yes, yes. Here we are. Number one. That's right. So the first question comes from Lori Mahaffey, and she asks, Grayson, how is it being the only girl out on the road with a bunch of dudes? She says guys, but... <laughs> we all are dudes. I, it's, I mean, it, it's kind of predictable, you know? I feel like I kind of turn into a dude a little bit. I can groove with that. It's no problem. In all um, the best ways. Love these, my it's but fun. these guys are like, I mean, they're so wonderful to work with. They're like family. And um, I mean, Robert, for example, had all sisters growing up. He's got all, you know, his wife and three daughters at home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he knows how to be around women, you know? And they're all like very fair and fun about all that. But, you know... I, I do kind of notice it sometimes, <laughs> if I were to be really honest. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes sure it's more, more obvious than, than others. Yeah. Um, but also, um, you don't get to see the, the camera crew that we're with, and occasionally there'll be a girl or two on there with me. And so I'm really not all by myself. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right, number two, Jeff Steen. Tay, I'd like for you to reach back into your memory and tell, memory and tell us the first thing that pops into your mind when I ask you. What is the best memory that you have of you and your dad growing up? Oh, um, oh my gosh. That's deep, man. You might need to take him in on that one. That's yeah. I've, uh, you know, that's actually, so my dad's a lot of, uh, is why I'm here, obviously. He, <laughs> he taught me um, a lot of skills growing up and uh, continues to, you know, he taught me how to weld. He taught me how to do woodworking. He taught me how to operate equipment, how to drive a car. My dad <laughs> owe everything that I know to my dad. So it's wow, hard. Wow, that really says a lot because you're an expert at all of those things. Well, and like, you know, he, he spurred, you know, I, I may have surpassed him in a few of them just because. You have a mechanical mind that you like. It's, t yeah. And you like that stuff. I, I'm always, I always love learning new things and he kind of inspired that. But as far as a one singular moment, that's almost impossible. I mean, I have vivid memories of, you know, working on like the engine for my go-kart, for instance, in the garage, you know, taking it apart and I would mess something up and he'd, God dang it, son. You know, parts go flying across the garage. But That's awesome. That, you know, then he'd help me put it all back together and we all learned together. And there's, that had, I mean, I followed him around. When we had to replace pipes in the house, I was always right next to him learning, so. I mean, that's amazing when you think about how much time you spent with your dad and how much he's affected you. And some people don't, and most people don't have that, you know, yeah. it's really cool. Yeah, it's, it would be uh, oh, really, dear. I would have a, Far different life without If my I were dad. to cry right now, it would be frozen. Tears. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Still still making memories too. We still of still work together. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that was a sweet. I, we don't get a whole lot of Thanks, Jeff. Actually, um, you get the next one. Oh, okay. I just well, read this that third one. one is from uh, our resident social media expert, Jamie Miller. And uh, her question is, what is the scariest moment you've had on a job? What about the proudest? This is a really good question. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Um, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, for me, scariest moment is easy because I was climbing up a ladder that was an extension ladder, and it wasn't... Oh, um, I remember that. It, yeah. Well, basically, it was on wet concrete slab. It was just the <clears throat> dumbest situation. Um, but yeah, we, we, you know, we were taking apart a house, and we had taken the stairway out, and we were back to get the logs, and I was walking up to the second story on the extension ladder, and because it was wet, it just kind of started to slide out from under me. <laughs> I really saw my life fly before my eyes, like, what am I going to grab onto? You know, am I yeah. just going to hit the ground with the ladder on this concrete slab? I don't know, but um, it stopped, and I just kind of waited for someone to <laughs> pull me up the ladder, and then we took care of it and never... I remember I was in the I'm forklift. I'm still not good on... I still don't do extension ladders, really. I, I, I That is also one of my least favorite things to be on. I mean, yeah. I was a firefighter and climbed, like, the 105-foot ladder on the truck, to me, is safer than the ones that you erect yourself and yeah. lean against a building. Yeah. I still hate extension ladders. But I remember that I was in the forklift. Right, and he's just happened. like, and I don't even know if I <laughs> put it in anything. park. It's I like, like <laughs> jumped out and like ran because I saw it like slow motion. Oh yeah. But that you know, ladder safety is also key. You know, like now we've also learned that you got to put a put something behind the feet so they don't slide and extend yeah. the rungs three rungs above the roof and tie it off. There's all kinds of stuff that um, you know through They've gotten better OSHA about. references and oh crap about. moments. Yeah, yeah, we've learned a lot. 
Yeah. Um, what was your scariest moment? You know, I uh, anytime there's there's a like a steep roof involved, and either wind or, or really high drop, I'm that's when I'm the most stressed Aware. out. Aware. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And there was one job in Pittsburgh where it was this church. It was on the Pittsburgh's kind of like this big valley or bowl, and it was up on one side of the this mountain range, and but so the the building itself was like five stories tall, and then the hill went down pretty steep after that, and then like continued to go down into the city. Like right. we could see the entire city from up here. It I was mean, very it, steep. There were switchbacks to get up there. Yeah. Like our truck, we even busted the the back of the truck trying to make these oh, turns. Yeah. And, and that was the one. So if you remember, that was the one where we got the big iron crosses mm-hmm, off the top. Mm-hmm. But like, so those were right on the edge of the roof, on the face, and like you know, while they're attached. It's you feel safe because you could grab something, but we are cutting those off, <laughs> or like the only thing we could grab onto. So I, I was, you know, Dad was like, we were having to wrestle this thing, and I, I have nothing to stand on. And yeah, I'm just gripping. I hate that. Yeah, that is. There's no. I mean, we were tied off, but you know, you don't want to fall. No, you don't want to have to use fall. the safety harness. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> so I, I hate sketchy rooftops. Yeah, that's, looking down into the river, like. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm gonna. That's me. That's my fate. <laughs> Okay, so the proudest proudest moment, um, probably cutting the cross and off of the, speaking of cross cutting and (laughs) your scariest (laughs) moment, my proudest moment, I was much safer on the St. Andrew's Cathedral spires down here in Roanoke that had amazing scaffolding all the way up and a great team with us. So um, it was a very safe situation, unlike what Tay was working on. Um, That was just the proudest moment for me because... Um, it was a Roanoke being up there and also just what that church means to my, my cathedral means to my family. Definitely. Yeah, that was, that was cool for sure. I, you know, I, I don't, I, it's hard. These are hard for me because there's so much that we've almost done a right. hundred episodes now. I don't know. I'm going to toot my horn a little bit and say that there's you a, should. there's this a lot of, moment. of extractions I've done with different pieces of equipment that I'm rather proud of. You know, I've pulled roofs off of barns and skin i one time i handed robert a crowbar that was jammed in the ground with a excavator <laughs> this big piece of equipment i went and picked it up do you remember I, where that was i handed it to, it was a smith mountain lake that cabin that <laughs> was cool. that was coming down i was in the excavator i was like here you go robert this tiny this huge machine in this tiny yeah Pink. that's pretty good tay is really fun. good as well in operator. the first episode we did the izzard house i watched bill st pierre pick a toilet up with a massive excavator from like the top floor he just That's without cool. breaking it too he like picked it up and put it on the ground and I was like I want to do that one <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome But I don't know it feels good to be able to run equipment and keep everybody safe and do the difficult tasks so maybe that's I'm sure I have others but pretty proud of that Awesome We've done it again Well I feel good how do you feel Cold All right. Well, thanks, guys, for tuning in, and we hope to see you next week, uh, next Thursday. That's right. Keep asking. Happy weekend. Take care.